This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, which of the following pairs of numbers represents a perfect square and its square root? So for the ASVAB and PyCat, you have to know your perfect squares and square roots. I would say at least from 1 to 20. In this column of this chart right here, we have our perfect squares. And in this column right here, we have our square roots. Let's start with 16. You can see that. 16 is a perfect square because 4 squared is 16. That said, uh, the square root of 16 is simply 4, not the square root of 8. So that's not correct. And you can see that right here. Let's move on to 25. Uh, you can see 25's right here. You should know that 5 squared is 25. That said, the square root of 25 is just 5, not the square root of 5. And again, you can see that the square root of 25 is 5 right there. Let's move on to 27. 27 is not a perfect square. Uh, 3 to the third is uh, 27, but that's a cube, not a square. This 3 is a cube. So that's not correct. That means by process of elimination, we know D is correct. You can see that 169 is a perfect square. Uh, 13 squared is 169. Uh, the square root of 169 is 13. And you can see that right there. All right, so this one is D. Um, I would commit this chart to memory. That said, you should know most of these already from 1 to 10. It'll probably take you a little bit to learn the ones from 10 to 20, but they're worth knowing for this test, especially if you want to get a high score.